Hi everyone, Mike from CCTV Care Pros here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crimp the RJ45 network uh, cable ends onto Cat5 E cable. Uh, the process is the same actually for Cat6 as well. Uh, but before we go into how to cut this cable, strip it and crimp these uh, RJ45 ends on, um, I wanna discuss the difference between using a spool of Cat5 network cable versus uh, pre-mades. Uh, so we sell, uh, uh, by default, we supply pre-made Cat5 E cable with our IP camera systems because it's very easy for most customers to use these because with the pre-made cables, the RJ45 ethernet ends are already crimped on. Uh, but there are some downsides to this. So um, unfortunately you can't cut this cable and recrimp new ends on it. So if you're dealing with a 100 foot cable, you're stuck with a 100 foot cable. If you have a 50 foot run, you're gonna have to tuck that extra 50 foot of cable back somewhere or order 50 foot cables instead of the 100. So you cannot cut the ends off of pre-made cables and recrimp new connectors on. That's because this cable is stranded and not uh, solid. Uh, so the pre-mades make installation very quick and simple, but there are limitations, that being one of them. Another one is if you're installing outdoor cameras and you're drilling through wood or concrete uh, to mount your cameras, you'll have to drill a bigger hole to feed the cable through because that RJ45 end is way thicker than the Cat5e or uh, Cat6 cable. It's, it's at least twice as thick, so the hole you have to drill in your concrete or wood will have to be much bigger if you're if you're using pre-made cables. Um, obviously, with the spool of cable, you could cut this to the exact length. Uh, you usually leave a little bit of slack, but that's one of the advantages of using a spool is you can make your cable runs uh, exact or just leaving a little bit of extra slack and not worrying how to tuck it away, tuck away the additional cable uh, somewhere. Now, I will be honest, crimping these is not the easiest process because because there's four pairs of cable in here, so eight wires total that you need to order in a certain way before you feed it into the RJ45 connector. Okay, so you have to strip this cable and order those wires very specifically and feed it into the slots in the RG45 connector. Uh, it's not the easiest process. It's not the hardest either, but if you're new to doing this, you can expect to make a couple of errors. That's why we usually supply extras of these uh, ends because you will mess up a couple of the crimps or the ordering. Uh, trust me, we all do it. Uh, so. Uh, by default, our IP camera systems come with the pre-made cable and customers can upgrade to the spool with the connectors. We also have the uh, crimping tool and stripper that we can supply to you. Uh, so next, let's move on to the section of the video where I'm going to show you exactly how to strip this cable and crimp those RJ45 ends on. First, measure out the length of your cable and cut it to length. So the tool the two tools shown here, either of these can be used to cut uh, the Cat5 or Cat6 cable. Uh, the tool on the left is standard uh, electrician snips, and then the tool on the right is our RJ45 crimping tool that we supply, and that has a cutter in the lower portion of it that you could see there. Next, you'll need to strip the outer layer of your network cable. And again, you can use the standard electrical snips or the cutter that's built into our RJ45 uh, crimping tool. So next, almost always you'll score the, uh, the underlying uh, twisted pair cable. It's really difficult to uh, to strip that outer shielding and not slightly cut or score the inner cable. So you could use the drawstring to peel back that outer uh, shielding uh, a little bit more. Next, uh, trim the outer uh, shielding back. You'll want to leave a little bit of it there, so don't trim it all the way back. Uh, leave about a quarter inch or so. Next, trim off the cable where the, 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 the scoring was. So make sure you have all fresh cable and there's, there's, there's no gashes or scores in the cable. Trim off any of the bad cable. Next, you'll need to carefully order the cables according to this TIA 568B chart. This is the latest standard for ethernet cable. And so you'll wanna carefully order those cables and then once you have the cables ordered, uh, 
you take one of your RG45 connectors and then measure off uh, how much cable you're going to need. So you'll want, again, you'll want to leave a little bit of that outer insulation so that it goes inside the RG45 connector and then trim the cable so it goes basically to the end of the connector. Next, carefully insert the ordered twisted pair cables into the RJ45 connector. Uh, this is the part that you have to pay really close attention to because there's, there's eight slots there and you have to keep that order exact. Here's another picture of that and again showing that outer insulation actually partially going into the RJ45 connector. That's important because if you don't have that when you crimp this end on, it's not going to be secure. So insert the RG45 connector into the uh, crimping tool and, and you'll see there's two different uh, inserts. One is for the old RJ11 telephone connectors and then the bigger one obviously is the RJ45 network connection. So insert it in there and crimp it down and then uh, there's the finished uh, product. There, there's the RG45 end crimped onto our Cat5 network cable. I hope this video has been helpful to you in showing you how to crimp the uh, RG45 network connectors on the ends of Cat5 E cable. Uh, if you have any questions about any of this or if you want to discuss further using pre made Cat5 uh, network cable versus a spool, uh, you can email me anytime. I can be reached at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. Um, if you want to refer to any of the still images in this video, uh, I'm going to post this video on the blog with uh, instructions with the images and text in addition to the video. Uh, you can get there directly at www.cctvcamerapros.com slash cat5. Thank you for watching.